Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, we're doing another Gonzo Rivera Let's Play, The Last of the Port Permits. I have it running in windowed mode, so ignore the fact that you see some of my desktop. I'm running this because I really kind of need to use my GVO Navi here because I haven't discovered everything that I have, uh, that I, that I need in this area yet. I've really only discovered Manila and a few other places along the way. So, it's, it's a matter of having this so I know where I'm going. Which, I really don't need it, and I guess I could run it in full screen, but I'm, you're going to need to know two places, Manila and Malacca, for this quest line, if you haven't already discovered them. So, anyways, come to Manila, which is all the way in the east, out here on this little island over here, and you are going to come to your, sp your console, in my case it's the Spanish console, and we're going to take a quest. This quest is going to be called Collecting Info of the Spice Islands. Where art thou? There it is. Collecting. Not collecting. Collecting. Info north of the Spice Islands. Is that the one? Yeah. Not quite the right title, but... Um, but yes. So, this is the quest. I don't think there's any others. I've, re I've remembered this collecting thing. So, you're going to accept this quest... And then we need to talk to my console again to get more information. Okay, and this is where he says go to Malacca. So this is the first step. You don't just accept the quest and start going anyplace. You have to talk to the uh, console two times. Yep, two times. Then he instructs you to go to Manila. Oh, sorry, not Manila, Malacca, which I haven't discovered, but I did pass by. And I do have an idea of where it is, and I can port permit myself to a nearby place. It's directly across from Palembang. So we're going to auto sail at least to there. And we're going to use our three things to keep myself alive, safe, and fully stocked with food and water. Go ahead and use this. I ran aground when I was AFK earlier, and there we go. So once we get to Malacca, if you haven't discovered it already, once you get to Malacca, we're going to talk to the barkeeper twice, and then talk to the market keeper, and then go back to Manila to turn in the quest. And then once that's complete, i got to sail all the way back to Seville. So, not going to show you that part, because that's kind of pointless. So, I spoke with a few people about where to go with this channel after all is said and done here. Um, I have a few ideas of where to go after we finish this final quest. And I'm thinking, I'm really looking at how this sailing is going, and it's like the most stupid path finding. You know what? Don't bother using some of these auto sails, they're pretty bad. They do not pathfind right. Alright, so there we go. That should be a pretty straight shot. Anyways. Uh, so, I had some suggestions about what to show next. I've already done a little bit about college, and I've done all these port permits. Um, I might show some more charting. I, I showed you guys how to do charting once, but I might show some additional charting um, with my main, because... A, he has got a faster ship, so charting is a lot easier with than with one using one of these ships. And that's the guy I've been kind of focusing on and getting my adventure and trade and everything else up anyway, so that would be a good skill uh, to to show. Um, so that's that's likely one thing I might show. Um, someone said to do Nanban, and I would love to do Nanban, which is all this East uh, China uh, trading and Japan trading and I know nothing about Nanban so if I do choose to do Nanban uh, I'm going to have to do some investment in trying to figure it out and if we do do a channel uh, episode on it maybe I'll do a learning experience at the same time um, I'm not entirely sure how it works just yet but once I know more I can I can try to explain or try to show you 
the process and in real time how it happens and how much time it would invest you to do it. From what I understand, there's a lot to do with knowing the products in which that the East Asian market and the Asian market want, not East Asia, the, the Asian markets, China and Japan want, and you have to bring product with you to, uh, I don't know, man, it's just confusing. And this is why I'm hesitant to do it because I know not much about it. And maybe someone in the comments can give me a link or show me a uh, a video themselves that already shows how it's done and something I could follow myself. I prefer a step-by-step -step written guide versus a video guide. Um, ironically enough, here I am showing a video guide how to do things, and I prefer written guides. I don't know. Video guides are good sometimes. I use them when I need to, but I prefer written guides. Because then I don't have to remember where I left off, and people don't go too quickly, and I don't have to pause it, so it has its ups and downs. One of the other quests I probably could have taken for this one, if you have tributes, which I believe I have tributes, I could have taken a different quest. So, I mean... If you have tributes, I could have taken, um, delivered tributes to Brunei, outskirts, and we could have gone to Brunei, and we could have just delivered tributes, and then got back to Manila. It's a little bit faster. However, you gotta have the tributes. It's the only catch. And this one's not that bad, and it gives me a chance to tell you what I might be doing for the next few episodes. Uh, I've, I've already started recording a new Let's Play for a different game, Seven Days to Die, and I might be playing more of that just to kind of break up the, the, uh, the mundaneness of sailing in this game. Sometimes this can get pretty mundane, not gonna lie. But mostly because uh, I'm doing this a second time with a different character and I want to spend some time on the other character and not everything that other character is doing is noteworthy enough to show on video. So really, it, it, it's just kind of like it's up in the air whether or not I go do a lot of it. Um, so that's one thing Namban might be doing. I might show you some adventure uh, charting of maps. Um, I might do some dungeoning. I might do battle reports to show you how I do those. Um, so there's a couple things I can show you, like grinding with battle reports and uh, grinding with uh, doing uh, map investigations and uh, how to do rare goods. That's another one that I could probably show how to do rare goods, which rare goods are not hard. Uh, excuse me, scratching my back. Rare goods are not hard. Um, they're actually really easy, especially in Seville. A lot of times rare goods tend to be some of the local goods like jute and upland rice and red beans and basil and la uh, mint, strange things that are all right there for your use. And uh, there are great ways of getting quick money and experience and trade without having to spend buku bucks because all you're doing is sailing back and forth between, say, someplace like Casablanca or Sueta or Cueta, whatever you say it, and bringing it to Seville and selling it or to one of the other nearby cities nearby um, Seville on the opposite shore. So it's pretty, pretty simple on how to do rare goods, but I'll show you how to indicate what rare goods are where to find them, how to use some of the wikis to find some of the where the records are, find out if they're worth your while, um, and uh, how to figure out what a rare good is. Like, you don't know what a rare good is sometimes until you try to sell something that you have in your inventory. You know? Sometimes it's just how it is. But other times you can do a little bit of research, and that's something I'm going to show, I think, in a video at some point. Um, it all depends on the kind of time I have. I know these videos do take a lot of time to make in the sense of I gotta play a game and I don't have a lot of time to play games lately maybe an hour to two hours a week you know here it is 5.30 and I've been playing this game for about an hour now just to get it up to get my boat out to Manila and now I'm showing you this video I'll probably do this video and then I'll probably have to stop you know and that'll be it for the next few days so Something to to note to note there. Uh, I'm just I'm just a busy guy. Can't invest too much time, so this is one of those ones where uh, this game is just taking a little bit too much time to play. 
Um, and I know a lot of people get burnt out in this game sometimes, but I think getting up to this point is where I start to burn out a little bit, doing all these quest lines and stuff to unlock all the board permits. Maybe, oh, I know something I need to do a video for. The circumnavigation quest. That's going to take a long time, but it's something I can show you. It's the next longest quest. So that's the next thing we'll do probably is that, because that's important if you want to have... Um, the Circumliner uh, title, as well as getting a nice um, outfit that boosts your sail handling, so definitely worth doing. Alright, here we are wrapping around, going to Malacca, coming around the peninsula here. I might not even show you the sail back to Manila, there's no point, but I'll at least show you how far to do Malacca here. Because that's the only next important part, really. I see the city. Getting up there in level almost 29. Level 29 adventure. Goes to show you how much adventuring I've been doing. I haven't focused much on anything else other than adventure. A little bit of trade when it came to buying and and creating uh, some of my foods and my, some of my s selling goods, but that's about it. All right, we have made it to Malacca. Now, oops, we're to go to the barkeeper. Where art thou, barkeeper? Rest house master, in case you don't realize that the barkeepers change, but we call him a barkeeper in most cases. Once, twice. And then, talk to the market keeper. Not far. Done. And we're done. You have finished this quest. Again, the hardest part about these quests is literally just having to travel. Because honestly, I did not pick up... When I came here, you see where I, I have port hopped to and on this uh, little spot here. I sailed all the way to say Leon or Kaylon, Kaylon, and then up to here to discover this place, then this place, then this place, this place, this place, this place, all, anything on the way to Manila, and then now I'm on the way back. Now I'm going to go back to Manila, and then I'm probably just going to sail back to Seville. And I'm not going to bother picking up all these places, at least until I'm ready to. Because um, it's a lot of work coming out here. I mean, I might go down here and pick up Ambon and Dilly, because they have the uh, expensive seed, seed, some spices. But it's it's complicated. It's It's... I don't have that kind of time right now, and I'd rather do that with my main, where who's got a faster ship, than drudgingly do that with this one. So, anyways, we're going to stock up here, and we're going to get on the road. So hopefully this video was uh, helpful. You have everything you need to know about how to do this quest, and now you have unlocked pretty much the entire map. There's a few things left to unlock, like St. Petersburg, which I've never done, and... Uh, that's something that I can do, you know, is that I can show you guys how to do some of those too as well. But in time, everybody, thanks again for watching. If you ever have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll always respond. And uh, thanks again for watching. Share the news and spread spread the love, everyone. Take care.